What's good, G Book? Um, I just wanted to drop a little bit of knowledge and share a little bit of information. And as always, thank you all for rocking with me. My movement, go get it entertainment, go get it apparel. Y'all can shop, check me out, go get it official.com. So moving forward, I just wanted to say uh, I've been doing a lot of research because you know I have my own company, go get it entertainment, and uh I've been releasing a lot of music and I'm trying to release something to y'all at least you know, once every month, maybe two singles a month. And uh, for those of you that are aspiring and uh, thinking about music, uh, just trying to drop a little information so that y'all can know that uh, there's multiple sources of income and revenue and uh, royalties that you can collect. I'm still learning it and I'm taking some notes. And, um, you know, I'm affiliated with BMI. Um, that's my pro, my performing rights or organization. Um, and um, some of y'all are with uh, ASCAP. But and getting your music out there, um, you want people to hear it. So some of the popular platforms people use are uh, DistroKid, um, United Masters, and um, like me, myself, I use TuneCore. And in the beginning, I was hyped about it, and I'm just trying to get more eyes and ears so that I can, you know, generate more revenue. And uh, I thought, okay, once you drop something, you get, you know, your streams up, you're following up, you on, you lit. That's not the case because... You got different royalties and um, you have your master recording royalty and that's exactly what you're going to get from um, your distributor, whether it's CD Baby, TuneCore, uh, like I said before, and uh, United Masters or, or whatever else. But they're going to pay you on that master recording. I got some notes right here. And um, there's something, these are things that I know, but over repetition and spitting it back out and spewing it back out, that's how I learned. So um, I noticed that... Um, you know, what if I get my song on the radio or something like that? What's the best way? I know that TuneCore isn't, or well, I felt like they weren't going to collect the money for that. And that's true because um, through that, that's a non-interactive platform. And if you make music and you're not familiar with the non-interactive, you know what I'm saying, platform, you should. Um, there's money that you could be getting if you're starting to get a buzz locally or whatever. And that's, um, you'll have to register your music with, with Sound Exchange. And for there, that's where you get your digital you know, your digital performance royalty, whether it be WPGC or, or, or KISS or, you know, if you're New York Hot 97 or if it's uh, Sway in the Morning or Rude Jude or any of those XM satellite radios or internet radio where you cannot interactively change or play your song, that's non-interactive music right there. So make sure you you uh, you go ahead and uh, register with Sound Exchange and that's free. Um you could be making money in different countries as well. You know, that's why, you know, sometimes I ask people, I was like, yo, are you with the, um, cause TuneCore has a, a, a um, publishing administrator, you know what I'm saying? I don't have the connections or the resources to get money. That's where my song is streaming on, uh, in another country or in other ways like that. So you may want to sign up with, with, um, you know, CD baby, I believe they got CD baby pro and they have, and uh, an administrator, a, a, a public, a, damn, I can't even get it out right. But you know, your um, your publishing administrator. Um, so I actually have two. I, I signed up for one with uh, with TuneCore. That was seventy five dollars one time, and then I also did Song Trust before. And I'm just trying to test out and see. That's how I work. I put stuff out, see how it works, and I learn as I go. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with Song Trust, both of those, you know, they uh, they collect your money from. Uh, whether it's another country, uh, whether it's on YouTube, and, and that's through sync licenses and everything like that. So it's important to collect and make sure that you are affiliated with a, a music administrator, especially if you're independent and you don't have a publishing deal. The good thing about this is that they won't retain any of your, your shares or your ownership or anything like that. They're just going to take a fee. And most often it's maybe a 15 to maybe a 20% fee. And that's money that you wouldn't have without them unless, you know, you really take that time to figure it out. And you got to deal with Harry Fox agency and all of that stuff. And I'm learning it now, too. So I'd rather just pay the money. That's how I am. Like if it's a job, whether it's in my house or something, I could probably do it, but I don't want to. So I'm going to pay the money. You get what you pay for. So um, it's more that I'm going to start trying to bring to y'all. But um, that's a little little something real quick because I didn't even realize that we already had like four minutes. So, um, yeah, I'm going to come back with another video. Make sure that y'all like, 
Um, follow me on my pages. Uh, definitely like uh, and follow Go Get It Apparel underscore and Go Get It Official on um, IG. Make sure you check me out on Snap and all of that. And uh, as always, the cast incentive is going on right now. So if you share, like, and put on, you know, a couple of people, they get their stuff. And some of it I keep on the low, you know, because they, you know, they support, but they don't want any attention. And I appreciate that. But um, we're trying to grow. We're going to keep doing this thing. We're going to get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah. <laughs>